Muse for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, Musers? John with Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, we're going to go over the web designer portfolio template found at museforyoushop.com. Uh, so this is a great template if you're a web designer or a graphic designer. Uh, it's a great template to showcase your work, uh, tell users about yourself, uh, showcase your resume, and let users contact you. Um, so it's a really minimalistic template, but all the information is organized in a nice way um, so that users and clients can easily find out more information about you and your work. Uh, so here we're on the home page. So the template cons consists of four pages, which is the home page, the work page, the about page, and the sample work details page. Um, so here, here's the home page. So it says freelance digital designer fo focusing on interactive solutions and user experience. So here, if I go to the work page, we have different projects. And here we're using the crosshair hover box widget. So you can hover over the image and we have this nice effect with the crosshair. All right, so here we have a few different samples. And if I click on any of these uh, images, it brings us to a uh, work details page. So this is where you can really showcase the project and go into more detail about what the project entailed and different images of the project as well. So all this text is customizable. Here we have an overview, we have involvement. So what, you know, how you were involved with the project and clients review as well. Um, all this text is customizable, but it is organized in a nice way. So if you did just wanna swap out images and text, you could easily do that in this template um, and customize it for your own website. All right, so that is the projects page. Then we have the about page. Um, so here it says, I've worked with visionary companies and people to create the services, brands, and products of the future. Okay, so this is where the user can find out more information about you. Here we have the intro, we have profile. Here we have different links. We have services, so brand design and visual crafting, uh, design consulting services, and digital service design. So again, all this text is customizable. It's just organized in a nice way so users can easily find out uh, more information about you and your projects. Um, and then right up here we have resume. So if I click on resume, um, it goes out to a PDF. Uh, this is just a sample PDF, uh, but you can replace it with your own PDF and your own resume so users can take a look at your resume as well. All right, so it's really minimalistic, but I think it works really well to convey uh, information about you and your services. All right, and let's talk um, links out to the user's inbox so the user can uh, write an email right away and send you an email. All right, so that is the template. Um, that is the web designer portfolio template. So I'll go to sizzy.co so we can see the responsiveness of it and the tablet and mobile menu. So Sizzy.co, Sizzy.co is just a really nice website that lets you test your website across different width devices. So I'll go back to the template, I'll copy this link here, and I'll paste it in Sizzy.co and hit enter. Okay, so here we have different width devices. We have the iPhone 4, iPhone 5, iPhone 6. We have the iPhone 7 Plus. We have the iPad Air, uh, the Nexus 6P, the Galaxy S4, and the Nexus 7. Um, so you can just go through the different pages of the site and just scroll. Um, here we have the tablet and mobile menu. So if I click, we have this nice menu for tablet and mobile devices. So the user can click and it'll take them to that page. All right, so you can check out the website across these different width devices and just check out the responsiveness of the website. All right, so that is sizzy.co. I'll leave a link in the show more section below and looks good. So I'll just you know cop go back to the home page right up here, copy the link, I can paste it right up here, and enter. Okay, there we go, looks good. All right, so that's the web designer portfolio template, uh, viewing it at sizzy.co. So to gain access to this template, you simply go to museforyoushop.com, and here you can click subscribe today, and here you can click subscribe now to get access to all widgets and templates I come out with for 39 a year. The web designer portfolio template is right down here. Here you can click add to cart to purchase individually, or again, you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and templates I come out with for 39 a year. 
I'll go ahead and read the features included for the template. Um, it's fluid with design. It's responsive for desktop, tablet, and mobile. There's a maximum of six breakpoints per page. The pages are organized within the layers panel. There are three main pages, homework and about. There's one subpage, which is the work details page. There's one master page. Uh, it's fully customizable. The assets are included and it's for Adobe Muse 2018 and later. And the widgets used in this template is the Crosshair Hoverbox widget. Uh, here we have a few images of the template. We have the community section if you had any questions about the template. And this video will be right here above the community section as well. All right, so I'll go ahead and jump into Adobe Muse. I have the template opened. Um, so here's what it looks like in the plan view. So we have the home page, the work page, the about page, and the sample work details page. And we have the master page right down here as well. All right, so I'll go ahead and open the home page. And here we can see the different breakpoints. So we have six different breakpoints. And you can go through and see how the website looks across the different breakpoints. Uh, so it's a really great template if you've never used Adobe Muse before and want to get started or want to learn how to use breakpoints and things like that. It's a really good reference uh, for that. So you can kind of just check it out and start building your own site or just swapping out content. And it's a good way to start working with Adobe Muse. All right, so I'll go here to the 1200 breakpoint. So images within the template can be easily swapped out. Uh, you can just select the image um, and then go to the assets panel here to the right. If you don't see the assets panel, you can go to window and click on assets right here. Okay, so with the image selected, we can see it shows up here in the assets panel. So this is uh, image two, image underscore hero. So to replace it, I can right click and select relink. Okay, and here I can select another image and perfect. And because it's in a rectangle, I can change the fitting and the position here within the fill option. So that's right up here, it's in the fill option. You can change the fitting and position. Okay, so I'll go ahead and go to file, preview page and browser. And there we have that new image, perfect. All right, so again, I can click on the image. I can right click, select relink. And I'll select the new image here. And I'll change the, the position of the image within the rectangle, so I'll go to fill and position it in the center there with uh, these squares. You can just select these squares to reposition the image. Okay, so I'll go ahead and go to file, preview page and browser. And there we have that new image. Perfect. All right, so now let's go to uh, work, the work page. So I'll go to the plan view, click on work. And here we're using the crosshair uh, hover box widget. So this is the widget right here. Here I can click on the blue circle with the arrow to bring up the widget options. So here I can change all the colors for this hover box. So in the gradient section, um, I can select a few different colors. And if I am changing the colors for this hover box, I want to change the instance number as well because there's three hover boxes on the page all with the same styling. And because I'm changing the styling for this ho uh, hover box, I want to give it a unique instance number so it doesn't inherit so it doesn't inherit styling properties from the other hover boxes on the page. All right, so here I can uh, replace the image by clicking on select an image, and I can just select a new image for the hover box. All right, and you can customize the crosshair here in the crosshair section, and just really yeah, customize the hover box to your liking. And that's basically it. So now if I preview in the browser, We now have this custom hover box. It's a different color. We have the other, other hover boxes here. We can see they have that gray color. All right, so you can really customize the hover box for the works page and change the image. Um, you could also relink the image like we did for the home page. So if we go to the assets panel here to the right, I can click on assets. Um, we know that the name of this image is Helio Roses. It starts with this text here. So I just have to find that image in the assets panel which is right here. I can right click, relink, and I can select another image. So you can relink the images via the assets panel rather than uh, having to change it here within the hover box. All right, so that's the works page. We have a few different hover boxes here. All the text is customizable. You can just double click to change the text. Okay, so we have the about page. Again, all this text is customizable and all the images um, are customizable as well. You can just go through and change all the content for this page as well. 
So now let's go to the sample work details page. Uh, so this is where you'll give more information about a particular project and the hover boxes are linked to this page. So let's say you wanted to add a new project. Uh, you could just right click on this page and select duplicate page. Okay, and for this one, I'm just gonna give it a sample title. So I'll name it work-2 and I'll go ahead and double click into this page. Um, I'll delete this image and just add a new image in here. So I'm just creating a rectangle and I'll fill it with an image by going to fill and selecting add image. Okay, and I'll just add an image here. For the fitting, I'll say scale to fill and position it in the center. Okay, so there we have the image. I would have to kind of change it a bit across different breakpoints. Um, but yeah, that's just working with the design a bit. But there we have that image and yeah, all this text is customizable. And I'll just leave it like that for the moment. So now I'll go back to the work page and I'll link this second hover box here to that new page. So here I'll open up the widget options for the crosshair hover box. And here in the link section, I want to change the change this um, the sample work details.html to work dash two. Yeah, work dash two dot html because that's the name of the new page. So now if I go to file, preview site and browser, uh, because I want to render all the pages, I'll go to preview site and browser. And I'll go to the work page. So this first crosshair hover box goes to the first projects page. And if I go back to the second hover box and I click, it goes to the second projects page. Oh, so that's how you can link the different hover boxes to different project pages. All right, looks good. So I'll go to the plan view. Uh, then we have the master page right down here. This is where the menu is and let's talk. And um, you can you know change the links out here. Here we have the mobile menu, so you can click and um, you know work with the mobile menu, work with the text and things like that. So the, mob the tablet mobile menu starts at the 768 breakpoint. It's at the 550 and the 320. And then we have this menu here, the horizontal menu at the 960 breakpoint, the 1100 and the 1200 breakpoint. So we do have that PDF with the resume as well. Um, so if you did want to swap that out, uh, you could click here on resume. We can see that resume here in the hyperlink section is linked to the downloadable uh, PDF, PDF. So if you wanted to link to your own PDF, you could uh, click the drop down and select link to file, and then just navigate to the PDF on your computer, and the resume link would be linked to that PDF. All right, so that is the web designer portfolio template. We have the home page, the work page, the about page, and the sample work detail. Uh, pages here as well and we have the master page and this template is using a maximum of six breakpoints and you can easily swap out the images by re relinking the images or if the image is in the hover box you can swap out the image within the hover box um, so that's it for the web designer portfolio template uh, to gain access to the template you can simply go to useforyoushop.com and here you can click subscribe today and here you can click subscribe now to get access to all widgets and templates I come out with for $39 a year. And right down here we have the web designer portfolio template. Uh, here you can click add to cart to purchase individually, or again you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and templates I come out with for $39 a year. Here we have the preview page where you can go through the template. Looks good. And I'll go back to the template page. Here's a few uh, images of the template. Uh, the community section if you had any questions about the template. Uh, this video will be right here as well and we have the features included uh, for the template here as well so that's it for this video tutorial again i do this to help you build awesome websites without code if you like this video tutorial you can subscribe below also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com so again thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video tutorial thank you News for you, awesome websites without code.